Hello everyone, we will continue the topic validations and substitutions and in the previous video, we started with the practical part of substitutions. We took one requirement based upon that we created the substitution, we created the step and then we provided the prerequisite and we provided the substitution fields means which field we want to substitute. Now, if you remember, when I created the substitution and when I created the step inside the substitution, one pop-up appeared with all the fields. At that time, I cancelled the pop-up. If I will show you, we got this kind of pop-up at that point of time. We simply cancelled that pop-up and after that, when I clicked on to substitution, I added the substitution fields while clicking on to this plus button. Now, rather than clicking on to this plus button, you can add the substitution fields at the initial level itself whenever you are creating the step. But it is totally your wish how you want to go because both will give the same to same result. Suppose, if I am deleting the step and if I will show you by other way, suppose I am deleting the step. Suppose I am creating the step or inserting the step. You can see this pop-up appeared. Now I will not cancel this pop-up. From here itself, I will add the substitutable fields. Which field we want to substitute? Document header text. So what is the technical name for that? PKTX. I will simply select this. I will select. If you remember the same thing you did after you did later after clicking on to the plus button. Now I am doing the same to same thing while adding the step itself. Now I will go for OK. Now system will prompt for constant value. If you remember, when you click on the plus button, pop up appeared. And after that, you pass the constant value. I will go for OK. Now, if I will show you, if I will double click on to substitution. Have you seen this field came automatically here? Previously, when you canceled that pop up, after that, you need to come to substitution. You need to cl click on to plus button and you need to add the fields. Now, while creating the step itself, we are adding the fields. So it's totally your wish. Uh, while adding the step, you are going for substitutional fields or where you are not going for add, you are not going at that point of time and you are adding later because result is same. It will not make any difference. Now, what is the constant value? Goods received document. Now, I will say that. So we have the step, we have the prerequisite, and we have the substitution. Now we need to activate this substitution because this substitution will not trigger unless and until we will not activate this. If you remember, we activated the validation also. At that time, we used the transaction code OB28. OB28, we activated the validation. Now we will go for which transaction code? OBBH. I will go to OBBH. Now this is a dedicated transaction code for substitution of accounting documents or financial accounting. If you remember OB28 is a dedicated transaction code for validations of accounting document, validation of accounting document or financial accounting. I will go for new entries. Now, what is the company code? DE11. What is the call point? We are going for header. So it will be all, always 0005. Now, whenever I will go for F for help, the substitution name will automatically come. Now you can see we are getting the substitution name H text automatically. 
Now I will go for activation. You all know whenever I want to activate, I have to choose one. Now, now whenever I will click on to the save button, entry will go to one table. If you remember, when I saved the validation at that time, entry went to T001 T table. Now in this case, the entry will go to T001 Q table, Q table. If I will show you this table as of now, and this table will play a vital role whenever we will understand in that debugging mode. If I will display this table, you can see it is substitution in accounting documents or financial accounting. So whenever you will put a entry through OBBH, it will go to T001Q table. I will go to contents. As of now, there is no entry for DE11 company code. Whenever I will save, the entry will go to this particular table. This is substitutions. Yes, I will save. Now, system is prompting for the request, customizing request. And have you seen it is getting stored into T001Q table. Now, it is totally your wish. You can create a new customizing request or you can use the existing also. Suppose I will use the exist. Now, if I will show you that table, if I will execute, you can see entry is into this particular table. Now, it is very important to understand the difference between these two transaction codes. If you remember, during validations also, I explained the difference between GGP0 and OB28. Now, we will understand the difference between these two transaction codes. See, GGP1 is a common transaction code for substitution maintenance. You can go for substitution in any application area through GGP1. Now, this OB28, sorry, OBBH is a dedicated transaction code for substitution in accounting documents or you can say financial accounting this OBBH so it is totally your wish if suppose someone is asking for the substitution in financial accounting or accounting documents so what you can do but we did we simply simply created the substitution through GGB1 and we activated through OBBH but if you have the area financial accounting or accounting documents, you can directly go through OBBH also. With the help of OBBH, you can do both the things. You can go for substitution, create maintenance also. You can activate also. Suppose if I will go for directly this transaction code, this OBBH, if I will go to new entries, Suppose I am going for some company code. I will go for some call up point. Suppose I want to create a substitution. Suppose test. Suppose I want to make it active. Now this test does not exist. So whenever you will double click, it is asking, do you want to create? Yes, I want to create. And you will be see, this is which transaction code? GGB1 only. We already have the substitution H text. Now we are getting the substitution test. So it is totally your wish if someone gave you the requirement or application area, accounting document or financial accounting. So in that case, you can directly go through OBBH also or what you can do, you can go through GGB1 or you can activate after that through OBBH. But just remember, OBBH is a dedicated transaction code for financial accounting or accounting documents. If someone asks you to create a substitution in asset accounting, 
then you cannot go for this particular transaction code. Same thing I explained during validation also. So anyways, this topic is already making sense to all of you. At that time, we have the table T001D. Now we have the table T001Q. Now, if you remember, at that time, we have this function module, which is helping us to call the validations. Now we have same to same kind of function module. The only, only word is substitution. The process is same because SAP followed the same to same practice. Whatever the SAP followed for validation, now SAP followed for substitution. So GGB0 for validation, GGB1 for substitution, OB28 dedicated transaction code for validation for financial accounting, OBBH dedicated transaction code for substitution of financial accounting. T001D table, yes, it is for to store the value of validation of financial accounting. Or T001Q to store the value of substitution of accounting document. Here the function module G underscore VSR underscore validation underscore call. Here we have the function module G underscore VSR underscore substitution underscore call. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I showed you that while creating the step itself, you can choose the substitutional fields. It's totally your wish. You want to go at that point of time or you can go later also. After that, we activated the substitution through OBB H transaction code, which is a dedicated transaction code for substitutions of accounting documents or financial accounting. And the entry went to which particular table? T001Q table. And after that, we simply compared what are the transaction code and tables for validations, what are the transaction code tables function modules for substitution. In the next video, we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode using this particular function. So that's it in this video. Thank you.